fuck <laughs> kids throwing fucking eggshells at my fucking door <laughs> like that and I go shh he does he does he does Any number can play. Shuffle and deal equally. Each player holds his card so that he can see only his top card. The player on the dealer's left reads out one piece of information, such as a strength or skill, from his top card. The other players read out the same item. The one with the highest value wins and places all the top cards, including his own, at the bottom of his hand. It is then his turn to choose an item from the new top card. If two or more cards share top value, all the top cards are placed in the middle and the same player chooses again from his next card. The winner of the trick takes the card in the middle as well. The card's in the middle as well. Winner is the player with all or most cards. All the information used in this game is fictitious. Willkommen zu the Amish Inquisition. <laughs> right, you go first, Phil. Um, um, you, have to guess, you have to guess what the uh, the game is at the end of the podcast. Okay, all right. It's not no, a hard shall one. I do the intro first or after uh, we play Top Trumps? Oh! <laughs> Boo! Boo! Drink two fingers. Yeah. <laughs> right, fear factor. No. Well, hang on a minute. One no, do, you, do you name the... Are you allowed to look at your cards? No, you should top card only. Oh, you, right, okay. No. Top card only. Did yeah. you not listen to the introduction? This way, face down or face no, up. No, your top card. You pick your deck up so you can see a card. That's okay. your top card. Oh, this is a good one. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Fear factor, 97. <sighs> God damn it. Who's next? <laughs> Fear Factor 30. Mine's 92. Uh, I remember these ones, you know. Yeah, Shafted. that's why I got them. Are we not I, saying more than with me? You probably I used did. to take them to primary school. Did you? Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, uh, p- uh, strength 15. <laughs> A peasant. Uh, strength 97. <laughs> The knights. <laughs> 100. Oh, what well, have you got? No, okay. What do I do with this? Yeah. Put them all to the bottom. Okay. And then it's your go. Mango oh. now. You want the trick. Magic power, 80. Oh. Magic power, 70. Yeah, mermaid shit. Magical power. Whoa, 70? Um, what 80, was yours? 80. Fuck. Damn maths. Um, strength. Oh, I've got David Bowie. 80. Strength, 70. 75. Thank you. Rock troll. Oh, it looks like you. Oh, yeah, it's David Bowie. <laughs> <laughs> Prince of the fairies. <laughs> Prince of the goblins. You remind got... me of a girl. <laughs> um, something's coming to my mind. I don't have magical Nonce. light. <laughs> um, magic power. 100. Mm, <laughs> fucking hell. 60 for the hag. <laughs> Zombies are gas. Useless hag. Ooh. So, it's a one horse... Races. Oh, oh mate. Oh, you might go. I am winning some cards here, boys. <laughs> Boy. Skill 50. 100. Oh, oh, oh demon. 100 one. for oh. everything. Oh. <laughs> oh, in the middle they go. All three. Well, then, how, how do you win oh, those? Who so. goes now then? Uh, you go. Um, Who goes to getting someone go again or do you go round? Oh, Phil, you go. You started. Um, I'll say mm, magic power 10 oh, magic power 60 or oh, 50 so you get ben them, wins you get them all you get all them you get them all oh yeah <coughs> I'm, I'm down to uh, half a dozen okay of shit cards <laughs> right uh, this could go on for hours couldn't it mm. oh, yeah, magic five. power 2 <laughs> 5 99. Oh. Nine on nines-ish. Mm. Skill 100. 70. 60. The bar- <laughs> <laughs> barbarian. You are a barbarian. <laughs> raping and pillaging. <laughs> Fear factor 100 for the ghost. Four. 50 for the night king. 4. The night king, it is <laughs> the night king. 4 for the queen. Go on. I can beat a queen. I bet you can. <laughs> Skill, 90. 98. Oh, 60. I'm a dragon. <laughs> Avocado. Oh, we're back round. Come round the horn. Uh, strength, 
One hundred. Strength two. Ninety-four. Oh, give me that wraith. <laughs> Wraithy bastard. Strength fifteen. <laughs> Eighty. Seventy-five. Oh, ben runs the trick. Ben the gets the assassin. Ben gets the peasant. <laughs> uh, oh, rubbish. Fear factor thirty. Zero for the fool. <laughs> <laughs> and eighty for the knight. Nice. No one's afraid of the fool. No. Except the fool. Himself. <laughs> the only person who could mock the king in court. That was Jester. the position of power for the jester. He was the only person who could openly mock the monarch. Mm. Without having his head cut off. That's very good. Anyway, go on. Uh, magic power 80. Five for the <laughs> goblin. The goblin has no magic. A hundred. Oh, for God's sake, again. <laughs> King is just the rapist card. He rapes everyone. <laughs> Rape and pillage card. Except the fool. <laughs> uh, skill 50. Human, 100. <laughs> skill 50. 97 for the wizard. And 90 for the mermaid. Oh. Skill? Yeah. <laughs> Fishing and shit. And Tyson. Yeah. Have you ever played Echo the Dolphin? I have. I Are there any mermaids in it? <laughs> no. But no. This is skill. like fucking swims. Skill 70 for the priest. Skill 70 fairy. Skill 100. Oh, uh, demon. 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 Ben wins. Uh, this could take a while. Uh, skill yeah, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just do <laughs> 10 minutes. Skill. 95. 60. Uh, Don't throw them, you'll get them dirty. Yeah, come on, man. These are like pristine, when, what year are they from? Uh, I was looking mid, late old, 80s, I think. The 30 years old. I've got and the you, Marvel superheroes and supervillains coming. I want them you, you, you just throw, you didn't win them, you paid for them. I want them in an auction. Yeah. Uh, strength 15. 100. Uh, for the barbarian. <laughs> Is he a Visigoth or a Goth? He's a Conan. Yeah. Sumerian. <laughs> Strength, 95. Um, for the Night King. 70. Oh, the Night King, yeah, look. It's golden. Robin, <laughs> Robin bastards. <laughs> um. <laughs> Skill, 90. 95. Oh, Sexy. the Queen. You beat a Queen. I know I do. Every night. <laughs> uh. Magic power 60. <laughs> 70 for the ghost. I was like, bloody king. <laughs> How can he ever... Can that, can someone has to, someone so has to tie... Got about five cards. One of us has to tie with him to get the card, don't we? And then win the next hand. Yeah. That's it. Uh, strength 70. 20 for the draft 20 witch. for the, for the oh. zombie. Uh, skill 100. 98. 90. Uh, magic power 70. 99 for the wizard. 46. Oh, fucking hell. Strength. Uh, skill 5. <laughs> 70. You've won it, then. Alright. What was it? Skill, did you say? Mm, yes. Skill. 60 skill. for the. Strength. What a thing. Uh, sorry, Fear Factor 99. <sighs> How can an ogre only have a Fear Factor of 30? Have you seen Shrek? Yeah. Mm. Well, that's pre Shrek, Ben. Uh, okay. <laughs> Strength 80. Two. Van Hamburg for the barbarian again. again. Yeah, Pops yeah, his yeah. little head up and says, oh, no. Suck my barbarian. Fear Factor 97. 92. 75. Zampier. Assassin. Whoops. I've just noticed your uh, <laughs> HFC mug. <laughs> I fucking love chicken. <laughs> I'm going to eat every fucking chicken in here. <laughs> uh, magic power, 90. Two. For the elf. It's king time, bitches. Oh, <laughs> <coughs> right, okay, so. Uh, last 50 one, seconds then. Yeah, one, last 50 seconds. Fear factor 100. 30. 50 for the Night King. I'm running out of cards now, actually. Strength 60. 40. He's winning. Yes, I've probably got three more cards. I'm good at. 
Strand 70. <laughs> Look. 70 for the tie. Ooh. Oh, 80 for the win. Is that it then? Should, should we just end yeah, you pick that out then. Should, should we just... We'll uh, just put them to one side. Put them to one side and, uh, just, and, and just, you know, talk about how I won. <sighs> right, namaste. Welcome. You feel coming. It's mm. Amish Inquisition time. Twitter at Amish INQ Podcast. Email us at theamishinquisition at gmail.com. Find us on iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, Podbean, Spotify and... YouTube. YouTube. On YouTube now. Audio only. Or just with some it has funky the picture of, you know, that picture you made of the kid oh, with yeah, the headphones. Yeah. It just has that as the background. Cool. Literally millions. We can make some stop motion animation with all these junk. Like Adam and Joe. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I just can't be, you know, be asked spending that time. No. I've, uh, I've got a new phone, so I'm using Stitcher now instead of uh, the iTunes. Have you got a smartwatch as well? I've got a smartwatch as well. Wow, yeah. that I've listened to the Make podcast you... three. <laughs> for your watch? So you can control it through your watch. Control. What kind of phone did you get in the end? Did you get a Huawei? I got a Huawei, man. <laughs> did you? Did you yeah. in the end? Chinese thing. Let's have a feel. Let's feel out, see how it... Oh, it's quite light. It's a, it's a P20. And it's got the notch... And has it got three cameras or two cameras? The notch. Two cameras. The notch has been turned off? Yeah. Because oh, so of the black, black, band, black bar and stuff. Yeah, all right. It's Android, People, isn't it? People it's Android, so yeah, changing operating It's Android. It's Android. <laughs> it's really the, uh, I remember I was w- watching something on BBC, and six years ago, they were... Who remembers th- that? Yeah, I know. They were, they were just making parts for other phones. I think cameras and stuff. Way, way. Way, way, yeah. And, way, man. and phones in China. And they said they had ambitions to be the third largest manufacturer by sales of um, phones in the world. I think they're the second now mm. behind Samsung. They're and the, the they're beating Samsung. Well, they're not beating Samsung, but they're, their <laughs> new phones are better than the, the Samsung phones, apparently. By yeah, really? yeah, yeah, by yeah. No, so but in terms of sales, yeah. They've only taken Samsung. Samsung. No, no, a Samsung are number one, right. then it's them, and then it's Apple. What's the price difference between the top of the range Huawei Huawei and the top of the range Samsung? Is there any? No, no they're about the same. Similar. Because it's iPhone and Samsung and they're roughly the same, aren't they? No, no, Pro it's the iPhone the X is a thousand pounds now. And the others are I think the nine the Samsung nine. Galaxy 9 yeah, and similar, the, aren't they, yeah. Huawei um, P20 Pro is about 800 quid. Mm. It's a ridiculous amount of money for a device. It is. If you, had to, actually, if you it, actually had to go into a shop and hand over £800 ah, no, for that's it, the you would not buy it. No. You wouldn't. It's this on tip contract business, isn't well, it? Well, yeah, but you, you just presume, don't you, that it's... that twenty. Well, mine's £23 a month. Mm. and That's cheap. Yeah. And you think, oh, I'll sell my old phone. And then you never do. Just goes in a drawer. I've got well, no, a drawer full of galaxies, sent, Samsung <laughs> galaxies. I sent my phone to Music Magpie, I think, because right. he offered me thirty quid because it was cracked, and um, they got it, got it there. And it said, "Oh no, because it's cracked at the back. It's, we'll give you seven pounds for it." Oh. So I said, "No, send it back." And my wife's going to replace the battery in the back in it, and I'm going to sell it on eBay. Might get yeah, like fifty quid yeah. for it. What model was that? An iPhone? No, no it, it can't a be an Sam- iPhone. Not Samsung, a Sony Xperia Z5. Right. See, Sony and Nokia and all these, like, they've pretty much dropped off the map now, haven't yeah. they? Yeah. Yeah. It's all yeah, about Samsung boys. and Apple for the last sort of 10 years, hasn't it? Wait, so, do you remember? It was like, I remember Sony Ericsson was quite trendy for a while, wasn't it? Mm, what was the Razer? Or oh, was it Motorola? It was Motorola yeah, Razer, Motorola, yeah. yeah. Um, have you not seen all these rumours about a, a bendy Samsung? It's going to yeah. fold or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, you know, watch this space. Stop it from... So I, you, I see so many... enjoying your phone. Is it, a, is it a big one? Is it as big as mine? I don't know. It's, I think it's too big. Part, part of the reason i got a smartphone is I don't have to take it out of my pocket in public. <laughs> is it the big one? No. Is, is it? The, so that's just the normal size one? Yeah. It's pretty oh, bloody is big anyway, My wife it? got a, a light, yeah. which is the same size as well. How do you find the Google Pixel? I think it's very good. It's a very good phone. Yeah, it looks bigger than that. Yeah, well, it is, isn't it? They're all good now, though, aren't they? It's like, um, how much better is the S8 than the S7 I or the S9 to the S8? I could see that this, the, the Sony phone I had last, that Z5, wasn't quite as good as... Performance-wise? No, performance-wise, it wasn't too bad initially, but there was just, the, it was like, 
they had loads of glitches in the software and even though it's Android, but they sort of filter it a bit, oh, don't they? The, hang on, I'll not put the fan on. All right. I'm going to die. <laughs> um, Hot box! <laughs> Dutch oven. But yeah, so you, you could tell, you could definitely tell there was a difference in terms of its quality and stuff. For sure. For surezies. But, you know. <coughs> Bolt's not coming this week. I noticed he wasn't here when He's, I arrived. He's uh, cracked three ribs. What does he do that for? Uh, he didn't do it on purpose. Well, he fell over. Fell Road over yeah. on the bath. Fell onto the bath or something. Oh shit! It's text something like alcohol plus wet floor equals three crack ribs. <laughs> so, uh, but he's gonna. F- we're gonna phone him and do the first ten questions of the quiz later. Sweet. Today? Yeah. All oh, right. Okay. Get well soon, Bolt. Yeah. So maybe he'll come in a few weeks when he's when he's healed and he's got his guitar arm back. Yeah. Play some songs. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Leave a review. You have a little jam. Get the pots, <coughs> pots and pans out for Matt. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to do my DNA? Yes. Do I? <laughs> <laughs> I don't so, want to look at your jizz. Uh, about five weeks ago, I spoke. wait. Wait. Mm. Could you actually send your jizz off? Would they accept? No. Semen-based <laughs> no, it's deposits. Scra- is it not a scraping of your mouth? It's Could... saliva. Oh, it's just saliva. I sent. A, I filled a test tube with saliva to. Ancestry.co.uk. What would you do if you open the attachment now and it says, I'm really sorry, but this is 90% tobacco. <laughs> yeah. um, Results inconclusive. <laughs> yeah. We need you to send another test tube. Signing in. Have Should you get, not, it, get have it, you it in on the screen? It? No. no. Get it on the big screen. All I've done is reset my password. Right. Big screen. Oh, oh. Invalid credentials. Uh, uh, hang on. I've just reset my password so it would let me in. Prepare. Prepare, prepare. Oh my god, it's saying invalid. Just en- en- entertain yourselves while Phil tries to log into his phone. Oh, yeah, I could tell you about the tank museum I went to. Yeah. It was very good. Yeah. Had lots of tanks. It was very well. Did it have the the Russian T5 or whatever it was? T35? T34. T39. It had a couple of Russian tanks, a British tank, a couple of American tanks, and a shit ton of. Uh, Did it have a tiger tanks. tank? Yeah, it had a tiger. It had a few tigers. Did it? And, uh, I think it had a Sherman tank. Yeah, Sherman. The British Centurion. Mm-hmm. It had the, like the leopard and the, the other animals that the German mm-hmm. tanks were. And it, but the most interesting thing was this fucking monstrosity from 1916, like a big oh, yeah, metal that, the, the, beast. It was huge. Like a big metal good. beast. What yeah. age was that? Do you know what I? 1916. I always, have, since a boy, have found fascinating is on tanks is explosive reactive armor. Have you not right. heard about that? No. I I don't know if I've dreamt this, but I'm pretty sure on tanks at one point, or these might still have it, is obviously called explosive reactive armor, where. In between the armour, there's explosives, <laughs> and when they so uh, when command and conquer, <laughs> it might be when something hits it, it an explosion happens in to be- counteract the, 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 the force of that explosion. Ooh, that's interesting. That's a bit like the Newton. bolts on your car's boot. Oh yeah, the, yeah, yeah. They counteract the impact of a you flip the uh, flip the corpse over the <laughs> yeah. roof so yeah. it doesn't smash your windscreen. <laughs> that's pretty much it. <laughs> Ah, interesting. I don't know. I, did, I didn't see anything yeah. written about that. But now it was mostly quite a German. modern thing. I'd say they had that. modern tanks as well. They had these ones that send drones up and shit. Really? Yeah. They had the, this ridiculous one that had a really short turret. Did, uh, did your daughter and wife opening. really enjoy this? Yeah, they loved it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you loved it. I sat in a tank. That was good. Um, it was good. It was very well thought out, very well laid out. There's very a lot German. Of, a lot of tanks. Oh, that's, I mean, that's good. It was, uh... Did anybody speak English to you in the tank museum? Yeah. Everyone. My wife. When you, <laughs> as soon as you went to the free Why are we here? <laughs> <laughs> when can we leave? <laughs> Did they have schnitzel? Yeah, right. The, <laughs> the uh, most common food item I saw was like a potato soup. It was like, like a white, milky vegetable soup. Isn't it called sauerkraut? With a, uh, no, it was kartoffel soup with a, um... A sausage in it, like swimming in it, like a turd in that it. That was a dish. In yeah. some vomit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> very much like it. Yeah, so that was the, uh, the dish. I've been dog sitting the last couple of weeks, talking about vomit, <laughs> <coughs> and we left. Unfortunately, sometimes 
especially when I have to shout at the dog when I'm leaving, <clears throat> not shout, but tell her more sternly to go in her bed if she's following me around. Mm. I have to lock her in the baby gate. And she, sometimes she gets upset and cries. So we came home and she ran out, she did happy, took out for a walk and she just ate and ate and ate grass oh, and was no. just throwing up balls and balls of grass. She must have eaten something dodgy before. I don't before know if she's she eaten one of my Lego men. Oh, you reckon? <laughs> I don't know if he was playing with him. I haven't actually checked, to be honest with you. That's quite bad, isn't it? Well, mm. see if there's a Lego man missing. Um, but, you know, I'll just give her a good hide in that, probably. Stop her from doing it again, won't it? Yeah, but how are you going to get the Lego man out? I don't know. She'd just be sick, wouldn't she? She was probably already done mm. it. She, was, she threw up a lot of grass on the park. So, you know, I'm pretty sure she's fine now. Normally she does it so, if she's going to throw up at home, but thankfully she hasn't. What kind of dog is it? German Shepherd? He's a German Shepherd, yes. yes. Did you have any best. German Shepherds at the Tank Museum? I saw, I did see an all black German Shepherd, which I've not seen before. Yeah, you can get them all colours. Yeah, well, the yeah. common one is the sable and black one. Yeah. And you can get them white, obviously, and yeah. black. But, you know, they're probably just more expensive. Never seen a black one. And more inbred <coughs> to get that colouring. Well, I'm quite disappointed. That's what I saw that. Like, quite disappointed. Just 100% Irish. <laughs> Ethnicity estimate, Ireland, Scotland, Wales, 50%. Europe, West, 44%. Yeah. Low, conf- low confidence reasons at regions. Finland, Northwest Russia, 4%. Scandinavia, 2%. Mm-hmm. Is that it? Yeah. 2% Viking, that's shit. That basic, how much did you pay for that information? 50 quid. <laughs> <laughs> what did you want it to say? I don't know, I just, I just thought it'd be interesting. Oh, you'll be right post-Brexit with those results. Yeah. <laughs> get them on your ID card, you yeah. won't get carted off to the concentration camp. We camps. should have had a biometric card, shouldn't we, by now? How come you treat... Anyway, tan- that's boring. Tangent. Mm. How come you treat yourself to a smartwatch? It was it to go with your smartphone? Yeah. Well, like I say, it's too, it's too big. 86 fourth cousins or closer on the database. Yeah, because when you get to fourth cousin, that's quite... Remote. Yeah. You need to email them all a link to the Amish Inquisition. Yeah. After all, my father was a millionaire. Well, link to them now. Yeah. Well, it doesn't mean they don't listen to podcasts. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, well. Carry on. It's too big to take out of my pocket. Pretty sure you're worth four cousins. <laughs> the phone. <laughs> what, the watch? Yeah, Your so I have the, wa- the watch. T- <laughs> yeah. The watch tells me, um, you know, the time. Yeah. So I have to take my phone out. <laughs> it's a digital screen. Yeah, you can change the watch faces. Look, I've obviously. Ob- obviously got the uh, golden eye <laughs> thing. What's that? The, go- the golden eye. Uh, I don't recognise that. Do you not recognise that? From the I, didn't, I didn't have the N64. Oh, okay, never mind. Um, <clears throat> you know, it's got all heart rate and health and gym. It's like a Fitbit included. Does it, is, how often's the warning gone off on yours then? For what? For being unhealthy. I turned it off. <laughs> turned it off first minute. Uh, you know, emails and shit. Can control Spotify through it, that's pretty good. I know, my wife's got a, a, an iWatch. She's, oh, yeah. she's all Apple. Very expensive. But she wants to get one of these next. Uh, hoe, hoe. Well, this is a Hoi Hoi uh, oh, watch Hoi as watch? well, yeah. How much was the watch? I got it second hand. Yeah. And it was <laughs> £125. How much are the first hand? Um, two or three hundred three twenty nine. The new ones three hundred twenty nine pounds. An, an Apple Watch is Fuck. in the fours, isn't it? For is a, it for a four G one? Yeah. Fuck me. Yeah. See, so wife's got them. <laughs> now she got the second one or the first mm. one. I think she got the first one. She's normally an early adopter. Yeah, I didn't really want to get. She got hers second hand. I got a, yeah, I got a second hand one just to try it out and see if if I actually use it. So if I'm still using it in six months. Mm-hmm. Then I, I might. You won't sell it upgrade. again. Yeah, might upgrade to something with 4G because then you can leave your phone at home almost. I think. What's the point? Leave your phone at home. Well, you've got Bluetooth headphones, so you can just take a call <coughs> normally. Oh right. So does it like your copy watch? your SIM or something? I don't. I don't know how it works. It's Bluetooth, isn't it? Pretty good. Like, at the moment, it's Bluetooth to the phone. So yeah, like I got a fitness band that yeah. does that, and you get some display on that if a text message comes through and stuff. Mm-hmm. It just Bluetooth to the phone. It's got maps on, which is pretty good. Spotify, you Google Maps on it. <laughs> you can have Spotify on your phone, and it'll go through the Fit band, so you can skip while you're in the gym and stuff. I think yeah. so. Yeah. yeah. 
It'll work. If I leave this in the locker in the gym, it'll pick it up. So that's that's pretty happy with it. Where it goes now. So. You go to the gym? I do. I used to, and then I took a rest day about six months ago. <laughs> Never went back. <laughs> so you can start going back to the gym. Start going back again. Yeah. When? At like four o'clock in the morning again. Yeah, I'm going tomorrow early. What time? Probably not four. I figured I can. If like I that was a serious thing. At <laughs> four o'clock in the morning. I didn't gyms opened at four. I used to start work at seven yeah. in Liverpool, so I had to I had to drive mm. to Liverpool, maybe six to get there. Fuck me. So, so what yeah. time are we going to go to the gym tomorrow? Tomorrow I'll probably leave at half five. Uh, kill me. Get an hour in, maybe. An hour. An hour. I watch programs on Netflix. And what do you do? Just cardio, cycling, and and jogging, and a, a little bit of weight. I believe, I believe shoulders, it's um, shoulder work. pronounced jogging. Jog- <laughs> jogging. <laughs> jogging. So uh, yeah, all right. And a bit of weights work, but not not a great deal. I'm not trying to get big or anything. Nice. No, get some cardio in the gut. Yeah. yeah. Get rid of the fat. Yeah. Thanks, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to stick with it this time. I think so. Uh, that's, that's my intention last time. Go? I'll probably go. I used to go four times a week, so I'd have Wednesday off. That's a go lot. Away. I know. Do you know what? The, but I only uh, used to go for half an hour. Or, or do you not seen? Minutes. Have you not seen the? Um, there was some research, and some guy has done like some meta analyses of um, research from around the world. I think he said it was like one point five million people altogether. Mm. And he said the sweet spot is 30 to 45 minutes, three to five times a week. Right, okay. For the maximum, because apparently there's a there's a tipping point from it being making you feel better and losing weight to yeah, it becoming right. obsessive. He yeah, says. that's, yeah. I, I like that feel. You do feel better after doing it. I, well, I do. It's called right. runner's high. Well, endorphins, yeah. isn't yeah. it? Basically, you get endorphins from. Africa. But you hear about people get addicted to yeah, running, and they yeah. do these. Um, what's that? F- uh, is it the big foot ultra marathon? Ultra marathon. Yeah, yeah. My cousin does that. It's like hundred mile runs. And yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a, a female actually who's like the badass in the world. She in the in this last big race. Uh, yeah, the de- the desert one. Yeah. She, uh, she started Utah, seeing things, like yeah. hallucinating. I imagine that they would because she fun. slept for one minute at one point. <laughs> She slept, got stopped, cut down on the road and slept for one minute. How? And she said, she had a companion with her, like, it's one to make sure she shouldn't die, I think. Okay. And and she said, like, let me go sleep just for one minute, literally just one minute. But she felt great when she woke up. She felt like she slept for hours. Apparently there is something in micro sleeps, you know, that it does have some benefit. I'm sure yeah. I have them on the way home from work. <laughs> yeah, it was say similar sort of things. If your brain... Your subconscious takes over the driving and then you start wandering off thinking about, oh, I'm going to have... What is the third takeaway I'm going to have today? <laughs> do, you, do, you ever, <laughs> do you ever stop the car and think, how the fuck did I get here? Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. All the time, yeah. yeah. That's weird. You just or shut sections, off. More, mainly sections of the journey. Right. It's got, oh. I mean, just like a short journey. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Like a five-minute journey and you stop, pull over and think, how the fuck did I... I can't even remember the last five minutes. Where, where the fuck was my brain? Daydreaming. <laughs> I'd love to be able to switch that on on every commute because it's fucking boring. Like, uh, when you when you're conscious for the whole time, I mean, obviously <laughs> <laughs> you're conscious for the whole time. But when you're focused on driving for the whole time, it's it gets boring, night, isn't it? Motorway is easy because you're just looking for brake lights. Mm-hmm. You just yeah. zone off. You're in your lane at cruising, and you're just looking for brake lights, and that's your cue to wake up and <laughs> to do something. Listening like, to Eddie Mayer drone on. Yeah, that stuff. gone now. Has he gone now? He's gone to LBC. I know he's going. I didn't know he'd gone. He left. He's um, he's doing it now. Is it just Caroline Quinn? I don't know. I do not listen to radio anymore. Podcasts and audio books I listen to. Yeah, I found time. Do you get um, a discount if you recommend me for Audible? Because I'm considering. I don't think so. Getting a couple of books, listening to them. Don't look at me. I don't. Um, I presume <laughs> do that filth. <laughs> I just do yeah. watch films. I've downloaded books. I wonder if I can send, share them with you. If that's legal or allowed. Don't know. Probably not. Probably Try not. But you can have. Try see I bet you can sign in, in the account on different devices. Yeah. So you oh, sharing passwords. Mm-hmm. You'll have to listen to ways. And then, to but then you'll probably yeah. <laughs> but then you'll have to. Um. I bet you can't have two people listening at the same time. Probably not. 
No, I don't no. think they do like family order like, accounts. Not <laughs> like Netflix. I mean, they might do, you know. I get one free book anyway, don't I? Mm. I pay 15 quid for Spotify. And what does that mean? It gives you all, oh, so many on. users. Yeah, at the same time. She gets, yeah, four or whatever. So she has it for running. I pay for it. Does she still run? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's got it anyway. Mm-hmm. Just in case she ever wants, wants to. to run. <laughs> Listen to music. Yeah, you get a free book, don't you? On audio, audio, audible, <laughs> audible, audible, audible. It's eight quid, right. and you get a token every month, and a right. token you can redeem for a book, any book. But is there a f- there's a free trial, isn't it, for one? Well, you free start book, for so. you get a free book for a month. Well, they used to do that. I don't know if they still do. If I get something massive, I suppose it. It's only cost you eight quid. You know, I'll just try it for a month. There's a lot of things that are just eight quid. Uh, but Absolutely. the thing is, you can stop it any month and restart again. You don't lose your books. Right, okay. You stop and start and stop and start. That's right. what I need to do. Because I've got a backlog of loads of books and that I'm, I've never ah, I to. see, yeah. Because I've been just buying them. And they do, you get emails for two for one offers. Stuff right. like that. That's so sweet. as well as getting your token, you can buy them for... Oh, you can pay money if you want extra books. You so how much is books. it? Say I wanted like a well, Harry, cheaper, po- Harry Potter book. They're cheaper than they are if you bought a book. Right, okay. Because it's a digital version. Very interesting. Try it. Above the, all the cost you eight quid. Yeah, I'll give it a go. Why not? Good. And I believe you've been watching uh, oh, Final Space. Yeah, finished um, it this morning. Did you? Have you just been watching it yourself? Not yeah. sharing it? No, no. It's no. not suitable for your family? No. They not like it? Uh, well, Obviously no, not she likes child. Rick and Morty. Does she? Yeah. She probably would have liked that a little bit. Uh, I think so, yeah. There's a, I like the relationship you? between Hugh and, uh, and Gar- the, the Gary. Yeah, the Gary. <laughs> It's good. It's good fun. Some of it was funny. It wasn't. And the same as in. Well, it's not a comedy. Kevin. <laughs> it is a comedy. Oh, it is, yeah. yeah a comedy yeah, drama. It's definitely a comedy, yeah. yeah. All right. It's I got some. It's a serious one. Dream, yeah. It's got some. Uh, it's, it's got, got some, some dramatic points. moments in it, hasn't Yeah, it? the music kind of makes that. It's yeah. got quite a good soundtrack. It's um, yeah. ethereal. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, we have, have both seen a film this week and have different opinions. Yes, Ready Player One. And you've one. not seen it. No. But I've heard everybody, everybody's had, um, either said they've liked it or they don't like it. Right. What you go first, Ben? I, I didn't like it. And the reason why is I thought it was a bit shit. <laughs> <laughs> Can you elaborate on that? I don't apparently, know. Uh, apparently it's, it's, it, it's been one of those things that uh, has been impossible to change, put into a film. Because it, of the nature of it, the book, with so much references, yeah, nostalgia, yeah, yeah, there, yeah. There's a lot of that. I kind of like that about it. It's got a fairly good soundtrack, and there's there are there are some good references to old video games and stuff, Mortal Kombat and, and others, <laughs> Halo, Halo, yeah. There's and there's there's a lot of kind of stuff going on that I imagine there are references in there that I've missed. You missed, yeah, definitely, yeah. yeah. Um, I thought I don't know. I don't know if I thought the story was kind of weak. Not weak, but it's the same. It's kind of the same story in in most films. It's it? the hero's journey. Yeah, it's the oldest myth in the book. <laughs> yeah, well, I've seen it, haven't I? <laughs> yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was good. I'd probably give it three and a half. Maps. Three, three and, and a half, half maps. Yeah. Six nine nine. Yeah, six nine nine. Like the standard one. We pay for the four screens and. 4K, yeah. so I think it's like nine pound. Um, but they have 109 million users. So if, say if everyone's paying seven quid, so a month, yeah, <laughs> that's almost 800 million dollars a month they get in revenue. Yeah. A month, right? That's insane, isn't it? For what? What are the addresses? <laughs> 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 what do they do? <laughs> what did Netflix do? <laughs> you fucking listen to your own podcast. <laughs> Same. No. <laughs> Why do you have to be so dramatic? Because we've just Lost. recorded four hours of podcast, <laughs> some of the finest audio known to man, and has been destroyed. Fell through his fucking tobacco because he was. A- plentiful addictions and messed it up 
Welcome again to the Amish Inquisition. Um, well, we, Twitter we, at Amish INQ Podcast, www, no W's, no. but uh, the Amish Inquisition dot com, the Amish Inquisition at gmail dot com. Mm-hmm. Find us on Stitcher, <laughs> iTunes, oh. Spotify, uh, TuneIn Radio. Is that one of them? Um, YouTube, YouTube. We're on YouTube. Um, Brief recap: uh, We played Top Trumps for ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, that's a probably keep conversation about uh, the tank museum. Yeah, Phil Portland switched fan. to fan on, um, and then we just you know oh uh, ancestry DNA. Ancestry I found DNA. out that my ancestry is I'm from the north of England mainly, <laughs> um, <sighs> and a bit of Russia bread. and a bit of Finland. And then uh, we're just talking about Ready Player One oh. and, and, and a disagreement in the term of how good it was. Yeah. I you don't would, like it? No, I don't like it. I'd only give it two mats. Two mats? Two mats. Fucking hell, that's harsh. Sorry, mate. What was it you didn't like about it? That it was too much of a well-trodden storyline? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe I missed some of the references as well. I don't Tell know. you what, I d- things I didn't like about it. I didn't like Simon Pegg or the other old guy in it. Uh... Yeah, the other old guy was a bit weird. Yeah. Was he Sam and Peg doing CGI in it or something? No, it no. was real. Yeah. Some of it's set in the real world. Yeah. Yeah, it was a bit kind of like Matrixy in that respect, that the real world is just like decrepit and post apocalyptic. That's what the whole point of it is. Isn't I, it? I know, I know. Going into the... I know. Yeah, it's escapism yeah. for the uh, opiate for the masses. Mm-hmm. I suppose people are doing that now and, and the world hasn't gone to shit yet fully. Yeah. What was the one that was ridiculous when it was like 12... Was it World of Warcraft? It was like 12 million people used to play it. Was oh, yeah. It's gone down to like 2 million now or something. Was it? Yeah. World of Warcraft. And then like before that, there was like Second Life. Dude. That was like yeah. the first kind of... Yeah, I remember that one. Yeah. It doesn't even have to be online. I, like, think of like Championship Manager. Oh, oh yeah, yeah People lose their lives. We remember when I read that article out and about in the one guy. of the early podcasts. Yeah, the guy who yeah. brought the record for the longest champions manager. Yeah, what team like, did he have? Like twenty twenty. Was he not in twenty two twenty something? <laughs> something like two hundred years or something like that. Yeah, yeah. two hundred ye- seasons or something. Mm-hmm. So yeah, escapism is a real thing, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Uh, it can become unhealthy, can't it? Escapism. It can become to the detriment of the the real world. It almost replaces reality, I guess. Yeah, it's quite interesting, isn't it? If that, if but if your escapism becomes your employment, in what sense? In what well, way? like pro gaming. Oh yeah, I suppose yeah. it's different to like Second Life, but in, it's in Asia. But you could immerse yourself in cod and and, and win some money, <laughs> not in fish. I suppose you could immerse yourself in, in fish and I mean, in that it. way, it's no different from being a professional poker player. Exactly. It's just yeah, a game, yeah. Yeah. learning the game and getting really good at it and then earning from it. Yeah. It's the um, way you're kind of getting Except rare items and stuff. And as much. When you're no, selling items in games, time, I, yeah. I guess you that's where you're making your money from when not actually playing, where you have like a, a com- So in World of Warcraft, people would be selling items for real world money mm. oh, to right. other players. Yeah. And that's Bitcoins. like a whole commerce, yeah. Yeah, cryptocurrency. Done that to death. <laughs> yeah, there are ways of making money out of video games. Well, that's what Fortnite is, isn't it? It's free, but you have to pay for extra dances and uniforms. I mean, an individual making money out of video <coughs> games. All oh, right, okay. Yeah, well, other than being the best at something, like the best at Call of Duty or the best at Fortnite or whatever. You get some kind of celebrity status, which mm-hmm. was touched upon in uh, Ready Player One as well. Yep. So a lot being the the king of the king Castle. of the crop, rise to the top. I'd give it three and a half mats. I thought it was good. All right. It was <coughs> very uh, Spielberg esque. Yes. But without the depth that a lot of his films have, mm-hmm. with the backstories and things. Like, do you remember The Goonies? Mm-hmm. That's, and it's, that's only produced by Steven Spielberg. Yeah, that was just the first example I could think of. Okay. It's a, like a funny madcap thing, mm-hmm. uh, adventure, but the real reason they're doing it is to save the homes because yes. they're being evicted. Yeah. They're all these kids and they're never going to see their friends again. They're all moving away to different parts of the country. So there's real stakes, uh, emotional stakes in that film. That's the 80s for you, though, Philip. No, that's what I mean. It's like 
that's what I was thinking about a lot of Spielberg films. Oh, like they, yes. they have the, the fun madcap teenage stuff, but there's um, real states involved and an underlying really good a lot, a lot of to do with childhood not trauma but you know testing times that a child would find distressing you mm. know like a man-eating shark yeah or a man-eating dinosaur no but in, in, like is it not in et the e. getting, is getting a good di- example. divorced or yeah. is someone dying or are they divorced they're getting divorced divorced i think wasn't it and then et dies or it dies and then goes home yeah yeah et go home yeah Magic Finger. That's a good example of a Spielberg film. That's yeah, that he, was missing, I would say, in this he film. He thinks that's his best film. E.T. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Probably. Well, he won his, his Oscar for Schindler's List and yeah, uh, Band, not Band of Brothers. What's it called? Um, they made his, that's why he made the TV series off. Was it? Uh, uh, Saving Private Ryan. Saving Private Ryan. Great film. Yeah, obviously. Obs. <laughs> yeah. Remember the big hoo-ha about the opening sequence of everyone getting mowed down on the mm-hmm. Normandy landing? That knife bit is still a bit... Oh, the knife bit. I, also, I, just, I still think about that knife mm. fight. <laughs> terrible, yeah. And he's it? slowly going through his yeah. chest. And he's going... Shh. Yeah. It's so bad, because that, that must have happened in real life so oh, many times yeah. during those, those years. Is it... Did, the Jewish guy win, or did yeah. that's the, the Jewish the guy? Jewish guy yeah. got killed. Yeah, it was the, the funny. Got killed. He was the funny one. Was he? He was like the comic relief. If, yeah. in the film, he was the bantery, uh, quick-witted one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you, so you, all, I already had more invested in his character, and see him die like that it was horrendous, horrific. Have you not, have you seen the meme of? Uh, <laughs> Jean Luc Picard? Uh, no, of, uh, What's the most of them are. No, with Matt Damon, a picture of him in Matt saving, Damon. saving Private Ryan and The Martian, and saying, "When are we going to stop wasting our tax dollars on saving Matt Damon?" <laughs> Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Left the track. Yeah, and uh, I watched a film. Oh that you watched the other week that I said was shit well, I thought that I didn't enjoy the first one which was Deadpool oh my and I watched the second one last night with my wife and it was I found it hilarious mm. all the way through and I thought it was I would say two times better two times better than the first one wow. really? yeah wow. I thought I'd it say was, they're on a par. Yeah, no, I didn't find the first one funny at all. God, but it's I the did. same film. Uh, yeah. It's all the same. <laughs> I, know, I don't know what it is. I just didn't. Maybe it was in a different mood when I watched the original. But I thought, <laughs> honestly, yeah, I thought yeah, the second one was a miles better film. Huh? Baby legs is is funny. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think they toned to me. I thought they toned down the. This is a swearing comic book superhero because in the first one there was a lot of that back and forth with the barman yeah yeah about and just swearing and stuff right. which i thought was just was just a bit boring i love the Hugh chapman uh, stuff in the films yeah the wolverine stuff mm. it started that film started with something about wolverine wasn't it yeah yeah because now wolverine's dead we have to start <laughs> <laughs> we have to start with the death don't we yeah I thought it was good, yeah. I thought it was excellent cool. all the way through. I'd agree. Yeah, I'd agree there as well. It was a rather excellent film. I was quite surprised. Is it a five matter? Not no, five matter. Four. Four. four Strong. Matter. Solid four. Solid. It's um, encroaching on four point five. <laughs> oh, not, encroaching. Not four point five. Ant Man and the Wasp is next, and I'm, I've got high hopes for that film. Yeah, I think I'm I expecting might watch that, that to be week. a four matter. I didn't particularly like the first one. It was, a bit, it was a bit boring. Oh, I thought I think it was great. It was three mats. Yeah, good. That one. I thought it was Paul Rudd's good. Is, is it it's good? up. It's running for the second best one. What? But it's probably the third best Marvel film. Really? Yeah. That that much? Yep. I watched the, yeah. the fight scene at the end where they're fighting in the kids' bedroom and he's running. He's on Thomas the Tank Engine and stuff like that. Mm. Oh, that was genius. Yeah, that's oh, that was brilliant. That's been done in Wallace and Gromit. <laughs> yeah, but it was done better. Wow. I watched an excellent DC film this afternoon. What was it? Teen Titans Go to the <gasps> Movies. Was Fucking it? great. I loved it. The, it? the series is good. Teen Absolutely, Titans. Yeah, it's really like good. They're like the teeny DC heroes. Yeah, they're going to school. It. Spider-Man? No. Uh, no, no. no uh, <laughs> there's Raven, uh, uh, Beast Boy, Beast Robin. Boy. Robin's the leader. Um and what? And it's a live action film. No, no, cartoon. no. <coughs> Cyborg. Is, is, is it one of these that everyone creams about? When Mark Hamill used to be the Joker and that kind of ilk. 
Those kinds of cartoons. Uh, no. Not necessarily the same. It's a cartoon. It's yeah. cartoon, yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. I know what you're talking about. It's the really DC, good. I know the DC cartoons, they make them for adults, don't they? There's lots of Batman ones that people fucking love. Oh, no, no. The it's not like a... going live was like... Yeah, the Batman there. With, with adults. Really well-drawn one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I can't remember what it's called. Batman something. There's but... loads of Batman ones. Dark Knight? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> This Teen Titans is is great though, hilarious, really good. Yeah, right. Is it Stan as Lee's good? got a cameo in it? Is it as good as the Lego Batman movie? No, oh, no, because that's a strong four. Yeah, yeah. Film. no, yeah, Lego three. Batman film is brilliant. Three, the original three Lego movie, I think, is better. better. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, Lego Batman's good. It's all about the abs. <laughs> <laughs> it was, yeah, it's not as funny as our uh, two-year-old who turned three last week. Um, he went through a, f- a phase of saying, um, "Oh Christ, I'm Batman. Something, something. I got eight. I, I got nine abs. He's <laughs> <laughs> got nine abs. Only got nine from. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Lego Batman film. It was okay. I went to the cinema to watch it. Yeah. There's a, you know, Barton Grange, a new one. N- new Barton Grange. The new centre, the new uh, uh, play centre's flower, open, isn't it? Flower ball, bowl. There's a big entertainment centre open there. Yeah, Barton we went Grange. there the other day. There's a entertainment cinema. Entertainment yeah. centre. There's what is there? Bowling. A cinema? There's, there's a huge bowling. cinema. There's a cur- an, uh, like curling. an Olympic-sized curling. I've heard about the curling, thing. not bowling. There's oh. bowling the cinema. There's, what um, are they going to have at the big cinema? Restaurant like there. proper... Yeah, proper films. Current films. Or Mission like, Impossible there at the moment. No, it's current. Six pound a ticket. It looks really nice. It's really nice That's what it should cost. Six fucking quid. Yeah, can't believe it when we went on way on from holiday. We're like thirty quid for four of us. And then you've got your popcorn and stuff. And that so. was, it was it was near enough. I'm sure we spent fifty quid yeah. going to the cinema to watch the shit fucking children's film. It's a night out. <laughs> oh, Incredibles two it was. Uh, isn't it? Uh, I thought rubbish. it was alright. Was it rubbish? Rubbish. Oh, dull, boring, <laughs> dumb. I like a bike. Oh, it's a cartoon bike. <laughs> oh, shit. No, I thought I, it was real. I, I thought it was. <laughs> Naff. Is it time to open the Tupperware? It's open it's, um, the Tupperware. Yeah. What have we got? <gasps> it, oh, God, it's like a chocolate oh, orgasm. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, what is it? oh, I know what it is. It's uh, Millionaire Shortbread, right? No. Incorrect. Oh. Ah, ah. I'm going for it. Uh, it's... Um, it's, it's some sort of demon flapjack. It is a demon flapjack. It's a, it's a chocolate flapjack. caramel demon flapjack. <laughs> it is, yeah. It's a toffee flapjack. If there's one thing I know, it's confectionery. It's flaps, Jack. I've eaten so much of this. But it's uh, pretty good. <laughs> uh, I forgot to say on Tech 2, Bolt's not here this week. Because yes. he's uh, fractured three ribs. Um, but he did say, if you want to ring in and do the first ten questions of the quiz, we he's can ring in and it. do it. So do you want to do it? Yeah, we should do that. Yeah, well, seen Bolt. And you're not having any flapjack? Yeah. I'll have it. We'll I'm considering it. I've got, I'm going to the gym tomorrow, aren't I? Oh, did, did we talk about the gym on this version? No. No. <laughs> it smells amazing. I missed balls. your awesome intro you did for something. I know, yeah. What did you say at the beginning? Some about top trumps. Yeah, I was reading the top trumps uh, instructions anyway. in my movie voice. Movie. Hey, so, we're just eating flapjacks and getting ready for a quiz. We're going to ring Bolt up and do a, the part one of his epic 40-question uh, quiz that he's currently writing. Do you have any pens? I've got a screwdriver. Got a pen. Thanks. A pen. I did think about this. Right, let's ring Bolt and see this what This is happens. brand new. I can't get the lid off. I hope I've front right right number actually. Cause I've got right, got bolt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right bolt. I've got two numbers for him for some reason. Right. I might have to move this slightly. That's pretty good. I'll tweet my answers. That'll be interesting for everyone, right? Hello. 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 Uh, We're just going to go to the next caller. <laughs> Find a friend. 
Enjoy yourselves whilst I just lick my fingers. Oh, would you say that they are finger licking good, Matthew? They're fucking wicked, dude. That would be a much better KFC. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking Tag wicked chicken. <laughs> <laughs> this chicken's the tits. Is it caught enough or is it just going quiet? Don't know. Is he in the bath? Mm. <laughs> I'll try him one more time. Uh, I can't eat any more of that stuff. It's just too, it's too, too rich. rich. No, it's just too nice. It's a 74% uh, cacao. Cacao! <laughs> chocolate on top, which just takes, just adds a <coughs> little bit of bit. Come on, Ben. Bitterness. No, I can't. Yeah, honestly, I'm no, for, I'm going to the gym. No, stop it. <laughs> Come on. Uh, no, no, I do want one. Oh, it's Cacao! No. I'm Why are you not it. eating it? Well, are you just not eating any unhealthy food? Well, I've now? got relatively bad guts, and uh, I'm going to the gym. Yeah, this will just stiffen you up a bit. It's just sugar and chocolate. Egg bound. That's what it needs to be. Egg bound? Egg bound. <laughs> Did you say egg bound? Egg bound. That's what my dad used to say, eat a boiled egg if you've got the shits. Yeah. And I just shut that out. <laughs> Hole. Yeah. Shell, basically. shell and, on. And horrific. When it's about four, <laughs> laid an egg. When I was about 14, he took me to Turkey and we all got horrific food poisoning from the hotel we stayed at. Excellent. Name and shame. I can't remember. Yes. And um, we... Uh, all had to end up staying in the room, and all I can remember is my dad forcing us all to eat boiled eggs. What you need is a boiled egg. <laughs> <laughs> no. Cool hand leak. What I need to do is just lie on my bed and not die. <laughs> and uh, I remember when I need to get my ass higher <laughs> than my mouth. The only one who didn't have food poison. Oh, he had it as well. He was pretty ill as well. And I remember once he had all these <laughs> boiled egg shells from like the constant boiling of eggs. All crush, crumbled up. So instead of just putting them in the bin, because he stank, obviously, yeah. in, the, in the apartment, you want to make our apartment stink, he threw them. We were, It was kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like a, a maisonette apartment block. I don't know. You know, you know, he had an apartment on top and then a separate one underneath. Right. But it's only two-storey. And he, out the back was the doors and, like, some woods and a path. So he just threw them, kept throwing eggshells off this, like, balcony where the door was. And then eventually one day this fucking guy goes, I go, who the fuck <laughs> keeps throwing fucking eggshells on my fucking door? <laughs> like that. And I go, shh. He does. He does. He does. Excellent. Oh, fucking hell. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Did Excellent. he stop doing it? Did he keep doing it? I think he stopped at that point, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I can remember. And then, uh, yeah, I had the shit. It was a two-week holiday for like the like 10 days of it. I remember eating on the plane and then having to run to the toilet and shit that out. And then <coughs> I remember coming back because it was like late in the summer holidays when we went. I can remember him miss being in. Mrs. Uh, yes Evil's class mm. for RE mm -hmm. and having to put my hand up and I had to go and have another diarrhea shit. And I think that was my last loose after stool. After you got home? After I got home. Hell. <laughs> How long in total? I would say I had the, the shits for two weeks. Fucking hell. I tell you, it usually it's just your body clearing itself out, isn't it? Yeah, it's proper proper food poisoning. The water must have been bad as well. I think, we, yeah, I don't know if so you So it sounds like something that's You've eaten and that's gone it into was, your system and it multiplied. It was food, food poisoning. Because yeah. when we came back, we found out. Never had it like that. Helicopter. Had it twice, and then I've had it from because he had unpasteurized milk. My mum and dad, and I got really ah, ill from that. Really? Yeah. Green top. Why? Straight from why? the teeth. Because my dad's fucking nuts. That's <laughs> why. <laughs> what did you get though? Green top. Oh, no, no more food poisoning. <laughs> I don't know the green top. Green top bacteria. <laughs> Um, I don't know. They sent me a pamphlet because I had to. I had to send a uh, stool sample to the doctors, and they sent nice. me a pamphlet of the bacteria that it was, bacterium, yeah. bacteria. Comes and they said oil. this is a common bacteria found in unpasteurized milk. Right. It probably happens when a little bit of shit goes in the milk, and because it's not been pasteurized, da -da 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 -da, you get ill. Because there is like a pro raw milk. 
Yeah. Movement, yeah, isn't it? Fucking they? nut jobs. Well, of the of the twenty years that I drank unpasteurized milk, I had the shits once from it, so that's you know, it's pretty good and I didn't die. Didn't right. die. And a lot of the thing is is you, you die from that kind of shit, don't you? Shit <laughs> or shits. If you've got poor um general health anyway, so like you're mal- 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 malnourished. Yeah. Because I was watching we some, can mu- we can watching something about the Black Death, and mm. they, they couldn't understand why it killed so many people, and it came back at different times, and didn't kill as many. Mm. And then the initial one, and apparently what it was when he looked into the records, there was um, preceding the arrival of it, there was a few years of famine. Yeah, famine weakens the immune system, and then everyone was already ill, yeah. and then they got the. So when well, they had the, um, everyone died from it. In the dark ages, that's when we had a temperature drop. And yeah. crop crop yield yields exactly, fell. Yeah, yeah. That leads to famine. Mm-hmm. Famine leads to gives you a weakened immune system and that's when you get widespread diseases. Yeah, so that's basically yeah. what they said. So they they couldn't understand why it killed so many at that particular point. But it was it was because of a, a widespread famine. It's because we're so specialised. Doctors don't look at geological history. Mm-hmm. You know, geologists don't look at the latest DNA research. Our, our, our uh, expertise is so specialised that there isn't people looking at the bigger picture. Scientists should combine their knowledge. I mean, there's a lot of people looking for a well, unified a theory <coughs> of everything, but only in physics. It might, like you say, there might be important stuff in fucking geology, I doubt it, but there might be some stuff there in other, the other sciences. If everyone pulls the results. I think there's a lot more. Now, well, how long has the scientific method been around? 16th century, maybe. It was only 400 years. Mm. A lot of time, yeah. You probably had Compilobacter. Did I? Did you just look it up? I did. Oh, good. Mm. Oh, Salmonella. (laughs) There's a story in in the news this this week that uh, moved me. Oh. Bowley. (laughs) Not Bowley. Not the baby (laughs) thing in America. What baby thing? Oh, the the, the, the people who left the baby to starve on religious reasons or something. No. No, uh, it's this story. Oh, God. Uh, it's just reloading. Is it, is it a tea joke? Grieving, grieving mother orca, killer whale, carries oh. dead calf on forehead for 17 days and 1,000 miles, refusing to let go. Oh. The 20-year-old male, known as Taliqua, has been carrying the dead calf on her forehead since the 25th of July. The grieving mother orca whale, still carrying the body of her calf, 17 days after it died, has inspired outpouring of grief across the world. 20-year-old Taliqua gave birth to the 400-pound baby in what was the pod's first live birth since 2015. Oh. Half an hour later, the calf was dead, having been born with too little blubber to survive. Oh. Rather than let it sink to the Pacific Ocean's floor, Taliqua balanced the body of her head and carried it with her as she followed her pod. You cannot interpret any other way, killer but whale biologist, using University of Washington Post says. This animal that is grieving for its dead baby and she doesn't want to let it go. She's not ready. Uh, since the death, researchers have been following the whales intently as they roam between blah blah. As they watch Taliqua picking the calf up, hoisting it out of the water to take a breath and repeating the process, the Canadian US government funded marine biologists have become increasingly concerned about her well being. It's likely Taliqua has grown weak through lack of food and, and the effort of pushing hundreds of pounds more than a thousand miles. And she's, she has fallen behind her pod and is at risk of being isolated. Um, she's probably just blah, blah, harpooning blah, blah, blah. around, really. Yeah. Put it down. Right of misery. It just makes you think like things like SeaWorld and that, they've got to stop now. Well, there's a big... Have you not heard about... Quite, I thought that's where you were going. Thomas Cook are refusing to do package holidays to SeaWorld or places that keep killer whales. Good. I think it's long overdue. Have you, I've never watched this uh, thing on Netflix about the when they catch the orca whale. What's it called? Oh, that? Black, Blackfish. Blackfish. Yeah. I never watched That's it. That's about whale in captivity. No, it was about... killed people. Yeah, but it's a, they go back to how it was caught. Right. And then it shows them catching another one, doesn't it? Taking it away from the mother and things. I think yeah. so. It's, it's, it's like illegal in the US, but the Russians do it and then sell them as captive bread. Ah, right. So they get around the laws. It's the same with whaling, isn't it? It's illegal in many countries, but it still goes on. I think what you have to do is is vote with your feet on this one. Yes. And just not go to those places. 
when yes. you have the opportunity. I don't think I would go to. I don't, I don't really have any interest I've been in seeing. Have you say? Have you been, been to, to a Sea Life not like performance thing? Uh, in uh, Canaries. Yeah, there's one, one in Tenerife, isn't there? Mm, yeah. yeah, went to that one. Yeah, Did you? one in Tenerife and one in Canary Islands. Um, I don't think they had orcas. They had dolphins, sea lions, that sort of thing. And there's one in the Animal Kingdom in Disney World. In yeah, there is in there. Yeah, Laurel that's Park. That's the one in the Canaries. Free Willy. Three Willies. That's where they had Free Willy, isn't it? The one in Florida, was it not? Uh, the Sea World in Florida, yeah. 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 Are we agreed on that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's my vote. Stop the performance. Exploitation, isn't it? Of any animals. We went to a couple of zoos in Germany while we were over there. Mm. Um, were they poking them with sticks? No, they, they were all right. Um, <laughs> oh. You're just like zoos here, only more better organised <laughs> <laughs> and cleaner. They were no, they were about the same. There's, um, mm. I did see six tigers in a relatively small. I know. Enclosure I, there. When it's you go to weird. Blackpool Zoo, there's two tigers in a quite small. Yeah, enclosure. and tigers are solitary. Yeah. Whereas lions live in a pride. Yeah, yeah. Tigers are solitary mm -hmm. animals. So yeah, it seems doesn't seem right to have six in an enclosure, no. does it? You think you just have a breeding were, pair. We're a bit shit as well. They were in, in like a big um, <laughs> were you not doing conservatory. Much? <laughs> no, they were asleep. <laughs> they were all right. One had a bucket on his head. He was having yeah, a Yeah, the there's time. the ones at Blackpool always have sackcloth hiding. Yeah. They're always hiding under sackcloth. It was dead hot here, so I guess, I guess they were hiding from the sun, but probably I not. I don't know. I don't think... I think they I just don't want to be shit. looked at. I thought, like, ah, oh, imagine if tables were turned, like, you know, Planet yeah. of the Apes, but it would be shit. I wouldn't want to be... Do you yeah, think no. um, zoos should go as well then? Well, There's I think the problem is, is you can't. They've tried, haven't they? Reintegrating or rewilding or whatever you call it, uh, captive bred animals, and I don't think it's as successful as no. you, if you cut a parrot. Well, this is you know just from watching shit. If you, you catch something and then you put it, you can sort of rear it and then re-release it. But apparently, it's different. You just need to stop. I guess stop. New animals in zoos and stop. Phase them out. New zoos, yeah, phase yeah. them out slowly. Don't, I'm not saying yeah, colour everything. But the problem is now that zoos often have the last breeding pairs of animals, don't they? They'd be they? signing like the extermination, yeah. extinction like of a rhino, species. White rhino or black rhino or whatever which one it is so, that's gone. Or do you say, well, what, yeah, so you, you're making a creature extinct. Mm hmm. But it won't be the first time. No. Like dodos and yeah. shit. Tasty though, weren't they? Yeah. And giant tortoises. tortoises. Apparently it's supposed <laughs> to be ridiculously tasty. I don't get any any more thrill from seeing a, a live animal in captivity at zoo than you would just... Like if I'd never seen a tiger before and I saw a video of a tiger and then saw one in a zoo, I don't know if there'd be... There's not I a great there's a leap. Difference. I think there's a difference between seeing, seeing something, something in person. Yeah, I did see a walrus. I've never ever seen a walrus till I was in jail. Yeah, but a walrus is it? a lame one. Like, <laughs> a lion. It's fucking weird, so You can't see the lion at the, at the zoo. I've seen, like, I've seen lions at the zoo. Yeah, I can't I remember the first time I saw a lion in a zoo. It must have been Blackpill Zoo when you were a kid. Or Chester or something. Yeah, mm. but I don't... I don't remember it. It's not like a vivid. Oh, um, that was the first time I, I saw a tiger. I remember going with primary school to see the tigers, mm. and I and I remember getting a tiger bookmark from Blackpool Zoo. That's the day I got lost. The day I got lost. Yeah, <laughs> this one. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, out in Blackpool Zoo, and Mr. Did Cracknell was panicking. You just did it. Yeah. Did you, were you fucking around near the otters or something? I was where the gorillas were. I was just watching the gorillas <laughs> on me all. <laughs> had a bond. <laughs> Like gorillas in the mist. Yeah. <laughs> Who's that written about? Um, it's a real, a real life woman. Yeah. She's the only weaver. I think her name is. No, she's one of the most famous. She's the most famous um, primatologist about at the minute. Is she, I think she like died. Gillian. No, she's she still did. going. No, I'm she, sure she is. No, I think she And died. she believed in Bigfoot. Nutty. Uh -huh. <laughs> I've been reading more about Alexander this week. Did he have a big dick? Uh, undis undisclosed. <laughs> <laughs> that was biggest dick. I got on aud Audible last week. Had a giveaway on these things called the Great Courses. Give it away, give it away now. Yeah, and a, a series like of university lectures. Yeah, you told us about this last week. Right, 
So I, I've, I've read like the. Oh, I listened to the way. first. Um, well, I've heard the podcast. I listened to it while glossing a door. Right. It was very interesting. Glossing a door. I got yeah. through the first Fuck six lectures with, <laughs> with no mention of Alexander, and I've, I've now he's got through to Alexander. So I'm learning about Alexander. Yeah, I think finally. you were four lectures in last time, weren't right. you? Right. Yeah, it could have been. Was he and famously like well endowed? Oh. No, Colin Farrell was who played him in the Oliver Stone version. Dick Swinger. Yeah. Ah, oh, okay. Or is has a massive penis. I believe I haven't seen it the film the film was shagged wasn't it does he shag yeah. his sister his mum is it his mum that he shags no he's not shagging her no. is that a, is that made up for the film Colin yeah. Farrell yeah yeah in the film ah. of Alexander the Great his mum was uh, allegedly related a descendant of um, Achilles Achilles and his father Philip II was legendarily um a descendant of Hercules. Oh. So Alexander had Herculean blood and Achille- the blood of Achilles from his veins. So that was the, the legend. Okay. It's quite Maybe it was true. Uh, achieving that much at such a young age is incredible. Exactly, that's what I mean. You know, he, he was 20, I think, when his dad died. He unites Greece. There's a, a nice uh, quote that I liked. Um, once after his united Greece, he takes Ione in Greece. And um, it's the second big battle he has with the Persians and uh, smashes them. And the Achaemenid Persian king, Scarpus, gets a horse and Scarpus off the battlefield, captures all his royal family. He's got all the Persian royal family, daughters, what have you. All the pussy. Um, He's got half the Persian Empire. And um, this king... uh, sends him a, like terms, he wants to make terms with him, make him a deal. And the king of Persia offers him half half the kingdom of, of Persia, uh, my eldest daughter in marriage, and uh, an indemnity of 10,000 talents, which is like an ungodly amount of money. And um, Alexander's foil was um, Par- Parmenion, I think it was called Parmenion. And he was like one of his father's generation, and he was always trying to... Alexander's very tempestuous and go for broke sort of thing and this guy Parmenio is like the elder foil or whatever and the king of Persia offers him this deal and Parmenio says something like if I were Alexander I would take that deal and Alexander says well if I was Parmenio I would do (laughs) and uh, he rejects the deal and he says uh, I already have all this I'll come for the rest next year (laughs) (laughs) basically I can't quite place that accent (laughs) (laughs) it's Macedonian (laughs) half half Achillean half Achillean I thought it was (laughs) mid-Atlantic it's just uh, just the gut balls of the guy at such a young age it's amazing he nearly died several times he he led every cavalry charge he got cracked in the head once one of the Persians was like this with a scimitar and someone chopped his arm off at the last minute Saved him his life again. He got a fever at one point and was ill for months. Jeez. He was like proper on it. And what happened to him in the end? <clears throat> Died of a fever. Oh, Young. Pussy. Yeah. <laughs> Probably scratched his... But they were on should camp- have eaten some more eggs. <laughs> yeah. They were on campaign for 10 years. Yeah. 10 years constantly. Did he die when he was 30 then? Um, something like that. 30, 31. Five. They're not quite sure on the year. Mm. So they say like... What happened to the empire that he made it, it carried on but it sort of it spawned um the greeks oh right okay is that when like greece came into its own then is it yeah greece eventually sort of athens he unified greece basically when well his father mainly but he had to solidify his place when he came to power but his dad had, had arranged like this hellenic league <laughs> and he'd forced all the greek like city the, states like the as they were <laughs> Like Thebes and Athens, Sparta. The only ones who didn't were Sparta because they're so curmudgeonly and like, mm. no, if there is going to be a Hellenic, a Hellenic, Hellenic League, Sparta will rule it. <laughs> you know, they just got sort of ousted to the side, isolated. They ended up siding with Persians at one point. Mm. Amazingly, after the, the dictum at the gates of Thermopylae, uh, ended up siding with them against Alexander. So he unified Greece and that allowed for the Greek state which followed and then the Greeks led to the Romans so it was, it was mega important mm, yeah definitely we could all be speaking Arabic if it weren't Alexander the Great but nothing would have stopped the Persian Empire rolling over keeping expanding so interesting 
things like individuals like that can change the course of history. Mm -hmm. That is interesting. Unrecognisably. Did you say <coughs> individuals like us? Hmm? Anyone, potentially. What? Seems unlikely. About the individual who invented the uh, the bomb. You know, Oppenheimer. He, Oppenheimer. What was his I famous quote? I am become death. Destroyer of destroyer worlds. Destroyer of worlds. Yeah, that's, it was a, a quote from the Bhagavad Gita. Uh, Indian, old Indian uh, religious... Hindu. Nonsense. Nonsense. <laughs> and that was his quote. I have, I, it's the words of Vishnu, isn't it? Death, yeah. Vishnu? Uh, I, I one have of become, them. Shiva. Was it Shiva? I think so. You're just making that up. Shiva was the goddess of war. Was Chaos. I have become death, destroyer of worlds. That's what he said when the mm. bomb went off. But if he hadn't invented it, completely different again. You know, the Nazis could have won. Well, the Nazis would have made the bomb, wouldn't they? Yeah. That was the race, wasn't it? Yeah. The Manhattan Project. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, individuals. Isn't that where eagles dare and they blow up the, the plan? Mm. Not based on a true story. I had Clint Eastwood in it. <laughs> yeah. What other individual moments like that is there? Obviously, Hitler. Yeah. What he did. Napoleon. I suppose the thing is, the further you go back in time, Wellington. the more significant they are. I suppose. Because it would change all history up from that point. Caesar, if he came to Britain first. Yeah, he did. Exactly. Yeah. Um, Columbus. I I'll tell you what, there's an interesting thing in this book on Freemasonry I'm reading. Oh, for God's uh, sake. Right. You've heard of Rosalind Chapel? Yes. I haven't. You have? I haven't. The Rosicrucians. Is this, do you, is this because you know about Knights Templars? A little bit. Right. Is that where you heard about Rosalind Chapel? Yep. So it's a, a, a chapel in Scotland built by the Templars. I, the thought, Templar it, I thought it was like a, a lady author. Rosalind Chapel. <laughs> <laughs> It's a great uh, nom de plume. It is, isn't it? Suited him. He's not suited that way, man. Yeah, this this, Pen name. this chapel, Roslyn Chapel, was built by the Templars in like the 1600s or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. But when you go in the chapel, in some of the arches, in the decorations, there is maize plants and corn and stuff, things that only grow in North America. And it happened before Columbus went over. That's quite interesting. That's interesting. Did maize not grow in the Middle East? No. No, nope, maize and corn are native to North America. There, there, there was two things. It might not have been maize and corn. I think maize was one. But the two things that are completely exclusive In to North America. In the 1600s, that's not... It's before Columbus. 1742. Uh, 1492. 1492. 1492. Sailed the ocean Columbus blue. sailed the ocean blue. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure he didn't bring corn and potatoes back on that one, did he? I don't know. I presume they did. It's Drake, wasn't it? Francis Drake who brought spuds and backy back. Spuds and Backy. Was it not Francis Drake? What was the other one? Uh, they're all after that, though. I don't know. The, person, a... the person credited with discovering the yeah. new world so is Christopher Columbus. So when was this chapel made? Before Christopher Columbus went to the new world. So that would have been in the 1400s Well, whenever it was. The point is that it was done before. That's but what's interesting. But the point is, this is a factual podcast. Yeah. <laughs> I need to get the facts. Right. So the fact checker can do his job. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to want uh, payroll. Yeah, he'd like us. He can have us, yeah. He <laughs> yeah. can have our rate. Uh, yeah. Plus 10% if he wants. <laughs> yeah. Don't offer him that. <laughs> we'll get the union involved. Um, you know. Well, yeah. I would have thought maize... Are we definitely sure maize was all, is only found in North America? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Walter Rally, sorry, potatoes. Walter Rally, that's it. That's what he was looking for. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought it was interesting. I don't think it's a... I mean, obviously people went over there. Yeah. Well, I suppose the argument is they went over the... the I don't think it's... I think the Bering Land Strait theory is come under scrutiny. I think they found D with DNA results. They found people emigrating via the south. Well, there's Vikings, isn't there? That allegedly Vikings going to yeah. Allegedly went there, didn't they? Yeah. The Vikings who used to farm on the coast of Gle Greenland. Because yeah. it wasn't frozen. Mm. Vikings are great. Why do you get onto Vikings? Because of people going, because of the it's corn America. and the corn. maize. Yeah. How old is the fresco? Have they dated that or has it been added or the stone. later? It's masonry. On? It's, it's so. in the decoration of the chapel. Yeah. So have they 
have they dated that? Or has it been added? Well, later they have a record. They have records of when it was built. Oh, okay. Mm. By Freemason. Freemason. It's an interesting like, book. Yeah. It was just someone fucking around. I in never the, knew in about sixteen hundreds. I never knew Jesus had brothers and sisters. Because it's not in the Bible, is it? James. Yeah, it's is in it? the Gospel. James. Matthew, I think. I think Matthew. I mean, James was his brother. James was his brother. Yeah. 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 A, they found a tomb with James, don't they? It says in Hebrew or something, James, brother of Jesus, or Sanskrit, or whatever. Yeah. Dead language. It's all that Dead Sea Scroll stuff as well. Yeah, yeah there's, there's other Gospels. Stuff, Gnostic cool, Gospels, yeah. Gospel of yeah, Mary, Two Magdalene. distinct things then, the Gnostic Gospels and the uh, Qumran texts. Mm. But it's ancient. It's the oldest uh, biblical stuff. I have. fully Gospel believe that a, that a large-scale religion could and would... Uh, suppress um, texts from the same time from the same people I'm pretty sure they that, do, yeah. that contradict what their agenda is mm-hmm. happens all the time it happens probably with every religion mm-hmm. and then there's no there's no talking to anyone who's uh, just not talking of to that them, religion is there about it you, you can't have an open dialogue about Gnostic Gospels with a Catholic say no. with, with a priest no, or, a pri- or, someone who's uh, in the system like a, yeah. a clergy member which is who you'd want to talk about them with because they're probably more most uh i can see text knowledgeable now, yeah text has come through on my smart watch oh, it's gone now it's from our ginger friend about we're going to oh we're going to a festival next week which one's that green man oh. so i'll either i can dial in from there if you want to do can do sunday i don't think i'll be here next week no, I will be here next week. I won't be here the week after. We'll get some guests on. Uh, this Freemasonry book reckons that it started in Egypt. What? Freemasonry? Ancient, ancient Egypt. Freemasonry? Freemasonry. Well, they, you know, there's quite a big stone building there, isn't there? Huh. Uh, yeah. So, you know, you probably need to know your shit for that, I imagine. Four hundred thirty-two thousand and all that jazz. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Four hundred thirty feet, two, three. <laughs> oh, pie, isn't it? <laughs> three point one four. I was, I've started considering joining the Freemasons. Yeah, I've considered it for a long time. Why? Wasn't, wasn't your dad a Freemason? He's a Grand Master, wasn't he? Granddad. Grand Master. Worshipful Master, it's called. Yeah, whatever. Level thirty-three. Yeah, I'd quite like to join the Masons. I think you have to have a letter from the the bishop there, don't you? (coughs) I'm genuinely think you have to have a letter. No, not from a bishop. Nothing to do with the bishop. From the Grand Master. The Pope. It's not a religious thing. Freemasons? No. Mm, It's not religious. You have to to believe in a higher power, though. Supreme being. Right, that's fine. That's the only requirement. That's agnostic. It used to be that you had to be able bodied and able minded. So they didn't used to let in uh, disabled people. Right. <laughs> or m- mentals. <laughs> but they changed that to be more inclusive. So they also, they... recently on the news, they're accepting transgendered people. Really? Yeah. So women if, to men? Yeah. So if you're a woman and now you're a man, you can join the Freemasons. Or if you were you were a man and now a woman, they'll... Do you have to have had the uh, surgery? <laughs> I don't know. Apparently, there's a, apparently there are... Initiation rituals and stuff. These are interesting. You have to be paddled. These are interesting. They're based on the creation myth of the Freemasons. Right. So they believe that it was started by this guy called Hiram Hiram Abith, who was the um, chief architect and master mason of Solomon's Temple. Yes, King Solomon, yeah. King Solomon of the Jewish royal house of Lid to David, was it? Baby Splitter. David's son. Was David's son Solomon? Or was it the other way around? I can't remember. You're the history guy. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, Freemasonry Hiram Abiff that's it he's, he's the grand architect and basically he has the secrets of master masonry and these pe- <laughs> these these other guys masons on the job are jealous and they want to know the secrets of Freemasonry the, the, the secrets of being a master mason so they confront him in Solomon's temple and he runs to one gate it's all symbolic this the east gate he finishes at the east gate or whatever but he f- runs to one gate he's challenged by this ruffian he won't release the, on pain of death, he won't release the secrets of Master Masonry. So the first guy hits him, um, and he hits him near the eye with like a level 
they're all like Masonic tools he gets hit with. But right. a level plumb bob is the next gate he runs plumb to. Right. Someone hits him with a, a plumb line. Um, First you cut the scream. The, <laughs> the blow hits him on the other side of the head. So he's got an injury here, an injury here. He goes to the east gate, the final gate. There's another ruffian. He asks him for the secrets of Master Masonry. He refuses and he hits him with a mole. What's Square that? in the head, kills him instantly. What's a mole? A, a big stone like a big mallet. Mole. <laughs> All right, okay. Mole. mole. What would you use uh, as a mason? Bolster and chisel. But, but like a bolster, I mean. I'm a bolster. So that's how it it's starts. No the symbol is a, a, is a set that? square and a set yeah. of compasses, isn't it? Yeah, it's all about being straight and level and true. Yeah. That's like, part of the theology sense. of it as well. That's part of They want you to be... It's like a, be a better person. That's claim. good. That's what. That's why I, that's like what John interests, interests me. Yeah. So when are we joining? I don't know. Is there, isn't there a lodge near the old Just like. police station? Yeah. There is? Ow. What's interesting, I found, is that they f- they, they found a, a mummy in Egypt, and it's the only mummy that's been found that died of, died a violent death. Right. And he had injuries. Oh, matching that the grand, matching the grand architect. Harry Mabif. Yeah. And he was all, and he was also uh, in poor condition in that the body had been left. The murderers hid Harry Mabif, right. and then hid, and the the people the uh, other masons found him recovered his body a couple of days later so it was decomposition and that's something you don't normally see with them did he have any sons is there a bloodline well no <laughs> it depends <laughs> depends like the theory in this book is that Hiram Abiff is really a pharaoh Sequinenre the Sequinenre Dao the second who was um, oh, yeah. a pharaoh of upper Egypt when um, they were taken over by the Hitt- uh, not Hittites um Hyksos. They got invaded by Semites called the Hyksos, right. and that's when the Middle Kingdom ends and it goes into the New Kingdom after the Hyksos leave. They get booted out eventually. So this Sequinenre, Sequinenre Dao II, is a pharaoh of um, Upper Egypt, and uh, that's the rumour is that he got murdered and he's this legendary Hiram Abiff, and that the secrets mm-hmm. of Master Masonry are really the funeral rites of Old Kingdom Egypt where they resurrected the pharaohs and that's what the secrets were it's quite inter- it's an interesting book yeah, learning a lot about it. history and history of Judaism and things like that yeah Yahweh and all that caper <laughs> it's funny how a lot of things that I'm getting into at the minute are tying in with each other like this book on the Freemasons was talking about Alexander the Great at some point Mm-hmm. And like the last book I read talks about ziggurats and seven-story ziggurats and the significance of that. And the Freemason t- book talks about ziggurats. It's all sort of meshing together. It's weird. What are the prerequisites to becoming a Freemason? None. Just the belief in a supreme being. Tick. <laughs> you, you don't need anything. I mean, does it cost anything? It's like a membership fee. Do you think? Just your soul. One hand washes the other. If your daddy yeah. on his way. Oh, are you getting a lift? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Shall we wrap up then? Yeah. Then you start.